guys, Steph here. Right, some of you will remember this pen here from a number of months ago. Look at that, what a lovely pen it is. Yes, a lovely green pearl vacuumatic. You can see there, unfortunately, um, it's actually got a do fold nib, but you can see the tines are broken to the top but the pen just needs a little bit of TLC and after some TLC this is the pen in question this one is actually it's actually been reserved by a viewer he saw the pen um, on one of my pen holes and he said well he made some inquiries and he said yes I'd like to reserve it subject to restoration and as you can see now it's absolutely gorgeous what we've got for you here is a Parker Vacuumatic fountain pen now for me personally I personally get very confused with regards to the different models of the Vacuumatics I'm sure there's a couple of you out there as well that are in the same boat I'm not 100% sure what it is it may be a early oversized vacuumatic or it may be the early um, junior vacuumatic I'm not a hundred percent sure if any of you people out there know for definite please let us know and it helps us all but anyway you can see as I say vacuumatic it comes in this absolutely gorgeous laminated green pearl colour look at that absolutely gorgeous the size of it from the cap to the end of the barrel is approximately 127 millimeters capped around the barrel it's a nice 12 millimeters in diameter now the barrel imprint which is a little bit on the worn side which is understandable because this pen I'm dating from 1936 I don't know if you can see it there or how clear it is but what it actually reads from the left it's got made in Canada park your vacuumatic to the middle and then to the right it's got patent number 318952 and then to the very end there again I'm not even too sure, I'm looking through the camera seeing if I can see it but anyway to the end it's got the date number 46 the two digit um, date number indicates that it's an early pen and it indicates to me that it's the fourth quarter of 1936 so it's an early vacuumatic now the nice thing about this one you can see to the end here to the blind cap it's got the matching sort of laminated jewel to the end there and if we take you up to the cap as well there we go also the matching laminated jewel to the very top as well as you can clearly see it's got these three little cap bands here to the end of the cap it's got what I term as a sort of standard Parker vacuumatic or Parker clip and as we've just shown you there the jewel as well so again rather confusing which pen is it and as I say if anybody can sort of let me know that would be appreciated so it's a Canadian made Parker vacuumatic now if we take the cap off show you the pen in a couple of different angles as I say it's been fully disassembled fully cleaned internally it's got a brand new diaphragm fitted to the end there and what I've actually done as I'll show you in a moment as I said it had a do fold nib um, I've managed to find a vacuumatic nib um, in my little box so we've replaced the nib as well so let's go up to the section you can see it's got a black section now I've read somewhere that the early versions of the uh, junior may have actually had a sort of a black section um, in some cases some of these pens may have had a matching 
sort of laminated sec uh, yeah uh, section as well but I believe it to be correct for the pen this with a black section if we show you the nib you can see it's got a Parker Vacumatic 14 karat gold and the nice thing is that it's a made in Canada nib so it's a Canadian made nib once again some of you people will look at this nib and say yes it should have the inlaid arrow it should be a two-tone nib well once again I've read that the early pens did actually have a single tone nib like this so it's like I say I found this nib it's the only one that I had but I believe it could be a matching nib I could be wrong so let me know but it's nice to have a Canadian vacuumatic nib with a Canadian fountain pen there's a sideways view there's the feed underneath as always everything is lovely lovely and clean as you would expect a lovely size pen very comfortable to hold now as I said I've cleaned it thoroughly and what we've actually done is actually cleaned the inside of the barrel now these are always very difficult for me to to sort of video um, I'll figure it out one day but if I bring on this this light here and there we go okay so you can see it's got a lovely clear barrel okay you can see the breather tube inside there okay so lovely clarity to the barrel as we said it's a vacuumatic so if we unscrew this rather small small blind cap to the end there and this pen has what they called a lockdown filler which means let's show it to you close up first of all you can see it's got slight knurling to the top of the button there but it simply means that if you turn it to the left it unlocks and you can see the plunger then protrudes from from the barrel now if I bring on this light again okay and there we go you can see if we press down on the plunger you can see the diaphragm there stretches creates a vacuum inside the pen and in turn fills a barrel with ink okay so I'm hoping that's a little bit clear for you so once the pen is then full of ink what you would do is simply push it down turn to the left and screw the blind cap back on and away you go writing with the pen now because I've actually cleaned everything put a new diaphragm as I said it's been reserved by a viewer so I'm going to leave the pleasure of filling this pen to to that particular viewer okay so hopefully he'll be nice and excited getting a pen nice and clean and he can put his favorite ink into the pen but what we'll do let's do a little bit of a dip test so what we have is a A Parker Parker Vacuumatic. Um, is it a is it a junior? Is it a an early an early oversized fountain pen? let us know anybody knows the answer but it's actually writing very nicely indeed nice and smooth and does it have any flex on it it actually does that's quite surprising <laughs> I 
Look at that. It's writing with a lovely wet line. And it's writing, I would say, I don't know, maybe a medium line, but we can get a broader line and we can get a little bit of variation in the line as well. So a lovely choice of nib, I think. So let's pop that to one side. Let's just reach over and get a little bit of tissue. What we'll do, we'll clean that after the video. But a gorgeous, gorgeous writer. So there we have it. We'll leave it at that. We've got a lovely Parker Vacuumatic lockdown filler in this beautiful laminated green pearl colour in absolutely stunning condition. Lovely barrel clarity with the matching jewels to both ends in gorgeous condition and ready to go across the pond to a new home hopefully hey <laughs> lovely pen so there we have it I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as much as I enjoy showing them to you people don't forget leave a comment below don't be shy subscribe to the channel as well down there just press that that thumbs up there just give it a thumbs up to say that you enjoyed the video if you will but for now I'm just going to say Slavo Kriini and from me and this gorgeous pen I'm just going to say bye bye for now.